so the very first thing that i told you beta in this chapter is that why do we need a monetary policy as a citizen as such beta you would want stable prices you would want economic growth you would want full employment opportunities guys you would want job opportunities in the market in reality as such beta you have unemployment levels higher unemployment levels lower economic activity guys there is high amount of inflation this is where beta monetary policy is required for price stability what do we understand by the word monetary policy guys monetary policy ka matlab hota hai beta a program of action that is undertaken by the monetary authorities especially the central bank especially the central bank beta wherein it is trying to control and regulate the total demand for and supply of money when it is trying to control beta the total demand for and the supply of money guys in the market and also the flow of credit flow of credit guys so that is the meaning of the word monetary policy guys with a view to achieve certain macroeconomic goals macroeconomic goals guys central bank beta can directly control money supply and can influence the demand of money you are directly controlling money supply we have learned about monetary base we have learned about crr we have learned about slr so central government beta uh, central bank can directly control money supply and it can also indirectly beta influence demand for money we always say beta that monetary policy is a demand side macroeconomic policy because you are trying to influence the total consumption and investment activity of a country that is why beta the wording used is it is a demand side macroeconomic policy demand side monetary policy framework guys the basic structure monetary policy framework agreement towards the end is different beta here beta the basic structure is what are the objectives of monetary policy analytics of monetary policy guys and the operating procedures beta which focuses on your operating targets and instruments objectives of monetary policy beta is what is that the uh, what is that you are trying to achieve what is that you are trying to achieve as such beta is the objective of a monetary policy it it provides guidance to all the policy makers as such guys first thing beta here that i told you is prior to 1930 the objectives of economic policy was only price stability after 1930 beta it became increased economic growth it became full employment levels it became price stability so when rbi act mein beta the objective was only to regulate the objective beta was to rbi act mein beta when you say it was to regulate the issue of bank notes and of keeping minimum reserves beta with a view to maintain monetary stability in the economy guys and also guys to use the currency and credit system beta to its full advantage gradually beta the objective of uh, monetary policy became price stability became price stability as such guys gradually beta it became price stability though it was not directly specified later on beta a lot of multiple objectives were included right like debt management exchange rate stability balance of payments guys inflation but uh, overall beta if you were to summarize as such guys overall if you were to summarize as such beta you will say it is maintenance of economic growth it is to ensure that there is enough flow of credit beta to the productive sector it is to moderate structure of interest rates as structure of interest rates flow of credit beta to the productive center maintenance of economic growth and then beta creating an efficient market for government securities exchange rate stability price stability to primary objective hai ye beta price stability is primary objective so all of this beta would become the objectives as such guys analytics of monetary policy mein beta here we are talking about what are the process or channels beta through which this mon uh, change in monetary policy aggregate will have an impact on the aggregate output and the aggregate price levels matlab through what process beta it is being implemented we are directly controlling only repo rate no we are directly controlling beta repo rate reverse repo rate guys we are directly controlling powered money base as such guys what are the channels beta through which these changes beta in monetary supply this changes in uh, repo rate beta are having an impact on the overall aggregate output and the overall aggregate income levels as such guys price levels तो इसके नीचे बेटा देर आर फाइव चैनल्स दैट वी स्पोक अबाउट देर आर फाइव चैनल्स बेटा दैट वी स्पोक अबाउट अंडर दिस द वेरी फर्स्ट चैनल बेटा इज इंटरेस्ट रेट चैनल द सेकंड वन इज सच बेटा योर इज एक्सचेंज रेट चैनल थर्ड वन इज क्वांटम चैनल नेक्स्ट बेटा इज एसेट प्राइस चैनल नेक्स्ट इज एक्सपेक्टेशन चैनल when the government changes policy rate it will have an impact on short term interest rates which in turn will have an impact on long term interest rates long term interest rates beta will influence your consumption and demand consumption and investment so if the rbi wants if the rbi wants the overall consumption and investment to reduce beta they will increase the repo rates which will increase short term interest rates which will increase long term interest rates and the consumption and investment will decrease so this is your interest rate channel the second one as such beta here is exchange rate channel and in changes in interest rate as such beta will undoubtedly have an impact on exchange rates as well exchange rates as well beta if the interest rates in india are too high you might see foreign capital inflows into india beta wherein people are trying to invest in the indian markets likewise beta rbi can change exchange rates beta by selling or buying foreign currency from the market guys uh 
by virtue of which beta it will make people shift from imports beta to domestic goods if the exchange rate increases as such guys imports become expensive and so beta people will be forced to shift to domestic goods instead of importing goods beta from outside that is your ex rate uh, exchange rate channel quantum channel mein beta we spoke about bank lending channel and balance sheet channel if the government beta sells government securities guys if the government is selling a uh, central if the central bank as such beta is selling government securities uh, so what is happening is they are absorbing excess credit beta from excess liquidity from the market open market operations so when they absorb excess liquidity beta banks have lesser funds to uh, uh, give away beta as loans so they are trying to reduce the total lending capacity of the banks or guys higher interest rates beta will not only increase the interest outflow guys it will also reduce the value of the businesses beta when they reduce the value of the businesses in turn it will have a negative impact on investment that is beta quantum channel so there we spoke about uh, bank lending channel and balance sheet channel iske baad mein beta we spoke about asset price channel whenever the interest rates are increased people will try to shift money beta from equity instruments guys to debt instruments so the demand for equity instruments decreases leading to a fall in equity value leading to a reduction in the wealth of the households leading to a reduction in demand expectations channel through monetary policies beta government will rbi central bank beta will obviously have an impact on the expectations of inflation and that in turn will have an impact on aggregate demand the extent to which these five channels will work beta will obviously depend upon the financial structure and will also develop depend on the stage of economic development that was all about guys channels then beta we spoke about operating procedures guys that is relating to implementation of monetary policy here we have operating targets here we have intermediate targets and then we have monetary policy instruments when we talk about operating targets as such beta these are the things that are directly controlled by central bank like the monetary base repo rate as such guys weighted average call rate and then beta when you talk about intermediate targets it is those targets that the rbi beta is trying to influence through the operating targets like the money supply short term interest rates long term interest rates and then beta monetary policy instruments beta are basically the tools that a central bank beta can use beta to influence the total money market and the credit market as such guys and also to achieve your ultimate objective monetary policy objective so yahan pe beta i spoke about implementation ke liye beta you have direct regulatory instruments like you can directly regulate crr slr you can uh, ask banks to lend at a particular rate accept deposits at a particular rate you can ask banks to lend to a particular sector indirect tools mein beta you will talk about uh, you know guys open market operations you will talk about market stabilization scheme you will talk about liquidity adjustment facility all of that will come under indirect instruments now beta we spoke about monetary policy instruments to yahan pe beta six six things guys crr slr liquidity adjustment marginal standing facility guys market stabilization scheme and then open market operations crr beta is the average amount of cash balances that a bank is required to hold with rbi on this rbi is not going to give you any interest if you do not hold these balances rbi will levy penal interest this is as a percentage of net demand and time liabilities right now it is 3% when crr is increased banks will have to hold more cash balances with rbi decreasing their own money supply decreasing the creation of credit money when crr is reduced beta banks can lend more money increasing credit supply so that is expansionary monetary policy when you increase crr it is contractionary monetary policy on the other hand beta statutory liquidity ratio beta is again as a percentage of their net demand and time liabilities prescribed under the banking regulation act to be held in the form of cash gold or other unencumbered specified securities treasury bills government securities state development loans or other specified securities now guys as the slr is increased as such beta they will have to uh, you know hold more of these securities and the money supply will decrease as such beta contractionary policy matlab they are trying to influence the total amount of credit beta that can be generated in the market okay sir then beta liquidity adjustment facility earlier beta rbi used to refinance loans beta of banks given to specified sectors but then rbi beta introduced liquidity adjustment facility which is where beta rbi becomes a bankers bank बैंकों का बैंक बेटा इज आरबीआई तो आरबीआई क्या बोलता है बेटा इन केस यू नीड फंड्स इन केस इज अ शॉर्टेज ऑफ लिक्विडिटी प्लीज डू नॉट वरी यू कैन कम टू मी एंड यू कैन बोरो मनी फ्रॉम मी इफ देर इज अक्सेस लिक्विडिटी प्लीज डू नॉट मरी यू कैन यू प्लीज डू नॉट worry beta not money please do not worry you can come to me and deposit your excess funds so repo beta is nothing but a transaction in which beta i am selling my securities to repurchase them on a later date beta at a specified price including interest so banks sell securities beta to rbi with an agreement to buy it back beta tomorrow that is after one day overnight repo overnight repo right now the repo rate is 4% reverse repo mein beta rbi is selling securities to the banks rbi will buy back these securities beta after one day beta from the banks at an interest at at a price inclusive of interest right now the reverse repo rate beta in india is 3.35% right now there is excess liquidity in the market that is why banks are parking money beta with the with the rbi guys with the rbi 
ओके सर अंडरस्टूड लाइफ ओरिजिनली बेटा दे इंट्रोड्यूस ओनली ओवर नाइट रेपो ओवर नाइट रिवर्स रेपो गाइज बट देन दे इंट्रोड्यूस टर्म रेपो सेवन डेज एंड फोर्टीन डेज टर्म रिवर्स रेपो दे इंट्रोड्यूस वेरिएबल रेट दे इंट्रोड्यूस लॉन्ग टर्म रेपोज बेटा दे इंट्रोड्यूस डायरेक्टेड लॉन्ग टर्म रेपोज एज वेल That was about liquidity adjustment facility. At this, you should also know, beta, repo rate becomes policy rate. Repo rate, beta, will directly influence your short-term money market rates. That short-term money market rates, beta, will in turn influence the long-term interest rates. Okay, sir. Next one, beta, is marginal standing facility. In case, beta, there is a shortage of funds, as such, guys, and the banks have exhausted their limit under liquidity adjustment facility. Also, they can borrow up to a specified limit, guys, under marginal standing facility from RBI, guys, against securities of commercial bills, treasury bills, securities. The interest rate on this beta will be 0.25 percent more than the policy rate, so that is 4.25 percent. Right now, beta, when someone says bank rate in India, they are referring to marginal standing facility rate. They are referring to marginal standing facility rate. And then, beta, we spoke about margin market stabilization scheme. I told you, beta, here market stabilization scheme is basically beta where RBI beta will sell government securities in the market to absorb additional liquidity created because of foreign capital inflows. We took an example of 10 billion dollars being infused into the Indian market guys. RBI is buying 10 billion dollars giving them 75,000 crore rupees. So there is 75,000 crore rupees more liquidity in the market. RBI is now selling government securities in the market and taking back that 75,000 crore rupees. The interest on these government securities beta is to be paid by government of India. Is to be paid by government of India. So that is why beta this is a like an agreement between guys government of India and your RBI guys. A limit is fixed beta for this and whatever interest payments are to be made it is made through budgetary provisions. Open market operations beta last resort wherein <laughs> if there is enough liquidity in the market guys RBI will sell securities absorb liquidity. If there is deficit beta RBI will buy securities as such beta from the market and infuse more liquidity. I told you beta in the recent times there were special open market operations conducted. Under special open market operations guys RBI is basically selling short term uh, government securities and buying long term government securities when you are buying long term government securities you are creating a demand for long term securities when you are creating a demand for long term securities beta the prices of long term securities will increase resulting in lower interest rates so by this beta they are trying to reduce the overall long term interest rates finally beta after this we spoke about the organizational structure beta for monetary policy decisions right now beta we have monetary policy framework agreement and monetary policy committee for this the rbi act was amended guys to provide a statutory backing for both monetary policy framework agreement and monetary policy committee as per monetary policy framework agreement as such guys the government of india in consultation with rbi will decide an inflation target which the rbi will try to achieve beta over a span of years uh, once in every 5 years have to fix this target through their monetary policy and this will ensure price stability right now beta the uh, inflation target fixed is 4% with a tolerance limit of 2% beta that means lower tolerance limit is 2% upper tolerance limit is 5% 6% guys if the inflation rate continuously remains above 6% for three consecutive target uh, quarters or if it remains below 2% for three consecutive quarters guys we would say that the monetary policy has failed to achieve its target monetary policy is required to submit or publish beta their monetary policy report once in every 6 months pehle beta we used to use multiple targets approach but right now rbi is targeting inflation targeting inflation through which they are trying to achieve price stability that is the inflation target flexible inflation targeting approach earlier beta used to multiple indicators approach uske pehle monetary target approach now monetary policy committee guys is basically an amazing decision here there are six people guys three people beta rbi ka governor deputy governor and one person recommended by the rbi board three people nominated by central government who are people of ability integrity guys who have knowledge of banking experience banking of banking finance or monetary policy guys So these people beta will meet at least four times in a year as such beta to decide what should be the policy rate that is repo rate in order to achieve the inflation target in order to achieve the inflation target guys uh, the whole objective of bringing in mpc beta was to uh, bring in more representativeness was to bring in specialization guys more accountability so that was the objective guys anyways beta your monetary policy committee beta uh, is assisted by monetary policy department beta likewise beta there is financial markets committee that reviews the liquidity position there is financial markets operational department beta that undertakes your daily operating open market operations this is what beta we have learned in this chapter nothing else i hope you go through all of it beta again i hope you revise everything again theek hai guys bye bye guys i'll see you guys in the next class keep studying guys